Welcome to week four of Cross Points Connect Group study of the book of Ephesians. This week we are taking a look at the word unity. Why do you think God's people struggle with the concept of unity? When God's people unite together by our commitment to him and each other, we're able to do great and unimaginable things. In the Bible, we see the story of Nehemiah and how God used him to unite a downtrodden people to do an amazing work. The children of Israel had been in captivity for some time when Nehemiah heard about the terrible state of his beloved city, Jerusalem. Through divine providence, Nehemiah was given the opportunity to return to Jerusalem only to find the people in a destitute state. Nehemiah began to tell the people of the vision that God had given to him to rebuild the walls of the city. The people united to accomplish this goal and were able to rebuild the walls in just 52 days, despite facing heavy opposition. We see in this amazing story what happens when we begin to look at the things that unite us and not separate us. Do you believe that God can still use homes and churches that are united to impact the world today? This week we'll learn that we are unified with God and Jesus. We are unified by the way that we choose to treat others. We are unified in our church. We are unified in our common struggle to separate ourselves from the worldliness that we face every day. And finally, we are unified by our choice to forgive others. What excuses do we use to not come together? God has called us to commit together in unity and to impact a world in desperate need of his love. Join us this week in praying that God will help us to lay aside the obstacles to unity in our homes and in our church so that we too can do something amazing for God.